Sadly, the best free map tracer is no longer free. Vectorizer AI now requires you to have a subscription in order to use their online tool. It's 9 bucks a month and it's probably worth the money if you use the servers regularly on a professional level. But for casual use, I don't think it is worth the money. So here is a free alternative that does a pretty good job and it is called SVG Converter. Link to it will be in the description. Let's try it out. We can drag and drop an image to it to load our image. On the right there are some options and as this is a black and white image, let me turn on the black and white switch and press Vectorize. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, nothing is uploaded to a server and everything is done locally on your browser, which is pretty neat. Once the vectorization is complete, on the right part of the screen we have our vectorized result, which looks pretty good. By using the mouse scroll wheel, we can zoom in and out and by dragging the mouse we can pan around to see the result. We can now download the vector file by pressing the download button, which will save an SVG file in our downloads folder. I'll take a look at it in Affinity Designer later in the video. If you find the result too smooth, you can change the smoothness to medium, which in this case looks a bit better. Let's try another image. I'm going to turn off the black and white and keep the colors at unlimited. When we vectorize the image, we can immediately see why Vectorizer AI was so great. Vectorizer AI was using AI to enhance the vector, which resulted in nice straight and curved lines. Here in SVG Converter, we don't get those enhanced vectors. It still did a pretty good job, but the end result will definitely need some extra work. Let's try an image with gradients. As expected, it kind of works. It is not smart enough to recognize gradients and splits the gradient into multiple paths. Time to test a more complicated image. Let's vectorize it and see the result. As everything is done in the browser, the processing can take a bit longer depending on the complexity of your image. Not bad, it did a pretty good job. When we zoom in, it still looks pretty decent. But if we zoom into this area, we do get some artifacts. But this is where SVG Converter has a nice option to fix those. We can press on the Edit Image button on the top toolbar. This will open up the segmented image. The segmented image is an intermediate image from which the actual vectorization will be done from. We can now zoom into the problem area, pick the right color, and use the fill color to correct the segmented image. I can now go through all the problem areas and fix those in the segmented image. I'm mainly using the fill tool right now, but there is the option to draw pixels. Once you're done, you can press the vectorize again, and if we now zoom to the problem area, notice now how we don't have the strange artifacts right now. Pretty cool. Let's do a final vectorize with a pretty straightforward image. The result looks pretty nice. Now let me export it and load it into Affinity Designer. When we open up the downloaded SVG file in Affinity Designer, we can see that we have multiple layers. We probably will need to do a cleanup. So I'm going to remove most of the layers and combine the last layers into a compound curve. I believe Vectorizer did a better job in the number of curves, but again, this is not so bad. I have seen paid software creating much worse results. Let's take a quick look at the first black and white image we vectorized. Again, here we do have a lot of layers. I'll quickly remove some of them. When we select a curve, we can also see that the distribution of the nodes are very algorithmic. It doesn't look bad, but it could definitely be done with a lot of less nodes. All in all, this is a great tool, especially being free. Unlike Vectorizer AI, this will probably stay free in the future. There are many alternatives, some free and some paid. I'll put some links in the description. However, before I leave you, 
I want to quickly highlight Logoist 5, which I purchased recently for testing. To my surprise, it does have a decent vectorizer. From the startup screen, you can select the vectorize button. After you select the file, it starts processing your file and then shows up the vectorize result. Also, there are some options to fine tune the output. As you can see, it did a better job with this image out of the box. It also has a much better gradient support. After you are happy with the result, it will open up in the editor, which is, by the way, quite powerful and it might be even an alternative to Affinity Designer. You can immediately view the structure of the document and, if needed, modify it. To export, we can use the Share button at the top right and choose SVG. I can now import the SVG into Affinity Designer for further processing. Thank you again for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.